Hi, I'm Adrian Gomez. I am the owner and promoter of uh, MKW, Middle Kingdom Wrestling, which is a professional wrestling organization similar to uh, what you might see on WWE or AEW. Uh, except uh, the twist here is that we're, it's here in China. Uh, I'm the only foreigner who owns a wrestling company and probably the, we're probably the longest lasting wrestling company in China today. Um, really, we've uh, had a bit of a tough year this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic uh, and we just got wrapped up uh, fin uh, finishing uh, our tapings, set of tapings, which, are, which is a, for a new kind of show behind a closed audience. So we can't really sell tickets these days, but we're looking into moving into uh, creating a, like a television show similar to what you might see on a AEW, Dynamite, or WWE, Raw, and so on. Um, and yeah, uh, we're all pretty exhausted. We just finished uh, two days of tapings. It's uh, 10 matches a day. Uh, some guys had to fight uh, three, four times in a single day uh, because we're filming episodic content. Um, and I'm happy to, we're, we're finally back. Wrestling's coming back to China and MKW's the only one doing it and actually we're the last one standing. So um, if you guys want to see Chinese wrestling, really, uh, we, uh, there's a lot of ways to look, check us out on YouTube. Um, or Twitter or Instagram, we have a lot of footage. We've uh, we've uh, made. I think we've made a pretty big impact here in China. You've been doing it for a long time. So how many years have you been doing it? Uh, we actually opened in 2015. In June, oh, I'm sorry, uh, July 2015 is when we uh, first uh, opened. So yeah, five years now. Okay. And as a foreigner, what made you get the idea to open a wrestling company in China? Um, you know, it, it's, uh, it was just circumstances, I guess. Uh, I always actually saw myself uh, being involved in the wrestling business. Um, and the time where I felt most serious about doing that was actually right after I had already uh, been settled in China, uh, got married. Uh, and But I thought, you know what, I can still, I can still do this because there's not a lot of wrestling in China before me, uh, before MKW. So I thought, you know what, um, I, I think I'm in the right place to do it. I think I'm the right person and that's what we're doing. So do you have any advice for people that just in general that want to open a company in China? Like uh, to be an entrepreneur in China is very tough. You know, I, I know it, you know it, Nick knows it. There's a lot of us entrepreneurs in kind of in and around Middle Kingdom wrestling. So, uh, just do you have any general advice for people wanting to start a business in China? Be, be open-minded uh, about where you are. Realize that actually uh, this is not, I mean, rules are different here. Rules are different than what you're used to in China, uh, in your home country. So, obviously when you're opening a, a company, whether it's a wrestling company or a restaurant or so on, uh, you, you really have to uh, think about you really have to think about the place that you're doing it in. In this case, we're doing it in China. So you have to uh, meet their tastes, of the, the general demographic taste here, of uh, the people here, and, and do things in a way where you can still have your, you can still bring your culture to China, but you have to find a way to kind of mix it together. And also be willing to, uh, to, to meet with a lot of people uh, and, and be professional and 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 um, there really is a, a, it could be a whole literally a whole book of of uh, on on tips on how to open a successful business in China. One more question. Um, so you mentioned that COVID nineteen has changed the the plan for like this year. Um, so in China here, we're kind of already kind of past COVID nineteen a little bit in, in some ways. So do you have any advice for people that have entertainment companies abroad that are trying to get over that hump and what they should do? Well, forward. you really have to think about uh, the current pandemic in your local place. So the pandemic is still a huge issue around the world. But where I live right now in China, in Harbin, uh, it hasn't been an issue for uh, several months. And that doesn't mean we're just going to start opening shows and, and, and selling you know, tickets with, with a large, in large stadiums. No. We have to find an appropriate way to reopen our company that can fit the the, the times that we're living in. Uh, in this case, uh, I decided to, op to do a couple of 
closed events where we focus on the film uh, and focus on the video uh, and, and, and instead of drawing a huge crowd. So that's the, you know, that you might need to find a new way to, to, uh, uh, to, to execute your, your reopening of your company. Get the road! Get the road! Okay, so uh, thank you for your time and uh, thank you for inviting me to the show and uh, I, had a, I had a lot of fun, so...